Hydrolink, the Suzuki Superboats. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you bought a program on the way in the door because in there, there is a piece of paper that will put you into the running for to win a Suzuki Swift. So uh, grab your programs, five bucks each, and you go in the running to win a Suzuki Swift. I had a bit of a squirt in it last night. She's still 100% A-OK and a ripping little car. All right, now look at this. Look at this and look at this again. The team from Invercargill, Devil's Advocate, 520-inch small block, 940 horsepower, and, of course, Hydrolink, the big sponsors of them out there, and flat and fast is exactly what it is. Look at that. Just a little bit of a wiggle and a wobble to get through those corners. Didn't even have to bend the boat hardly at all. And it's speed and power just looking good right there. Robert White. Oh, White, oh, he's late. very he's late. Really up late. on the tyres like it was a BMX boom. Got out of it, though. Jeez, he was late. Gee, he really did got, you know... It's just incredibly late to, and managing to get out of that. Now, let's see if it's played any time difference to him. Oh, there's a little bit of indecision going out there now, just um, yep. playing on the brain cells a little bit. 54.102 was their time earlier on. Oh, he's got to get right down into the 52, surely, even with that play. Oh, he's better than that. Oh, 49. 49. 49. 108. 49. 108. I tell you, I don't think that was actually going to be that good. There was just a few bits of indecision, and I knew it was fast, and... Um, We'll back him to go 47 by the end of the day. Well, look, I think so. And like I said, he's um, has, but hasn't been in the sport for a lot of years now, and it hasn't taken him long to come back on song again. As Scott Donald and Nicole Reefy in uh, the number 81 vessel, the 410 sprint car engine, and uh, these guys new in uh, to the unlimited category, so we're not expecting them to break records. Uh, or their legs at this point. So uh, they'll just be tickling it around, looking a lot more confident in the uh, handling characteristics of the boat this time out. It is a sprint tech. And uh, they had a 106 there in uh, round number two. Gave you a 106, so uh, they'll be looking to improve on that. But as you said, this is their first season in these, um, these big boats, and, and they do take a lot more driving than perhaps the Group Bs and Group As, just because you've got to get that throttle control so importantly oh, right. Because, yeah, it, one little, uh, you know, a centimetre in on the throttle will give you so much more horsepower. So he's frightening. Actually had a chat to uh, Richard Murray from Mina Machine before and uh, said, how are you going out there, mate, with a new boat and, uh, and that? And he said, oh, mate, I found myself a whole new drug. He said, that is amazing. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, interestingly, you missed the trailer on the way back in. Actually, uh, Scott Donald with the time there. 56, 56. Two, two, six. So they've come down uh, full 10 seconds. But uh, Richard Murray, uh, first trip out in the Ford 440s, uh, blown. You know, he said, mate, it's so hard to get that boat up on the trailer. A little squirt of the accelerator, and I could end up three three paddocks yeah, away. Yeah, no kidding. All right, we're going to Riverjet now, by the looks of it. Yep, Nick Berryman about to uh, come under starter's orders. Tanya Iamunga, the business owner from... Uh, White Pakarao is uh, how we say that in our country, uh, KB. All right, good, White Pakarao. Good, sedge, yeah, good, good throw to me right in the middle of a coffee, but... Uh, yeah, not well bad, done. eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, mate, Nick no had... Uh, Nick's changed his um, navigator this year. He had young Bella there with him last year, his daughter, and uh, they had those couple of crashes, and, and uh, I don't know whether it's played any part in it, but um, he's got, certainly got a very experienced uh, navigator in this lady now, Tani Aumanga. This uh, is a Chevy small block, a 410 Whipple Supercharger. And it certainly sounds like that supercharger screaming oh, around out there. Whipple supercharger doing a fantastic job. Nick Berryman's exit out of that tight right hander around Suzuki Island uh, was absolutely phenomenal. He's lost a lot of time through the split flop area uh, yeah. in both directions every time he's come out on the track. Needs to smooth that up. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be uh, a good time with a 48.8. That's his four. quickest by far. That's actually um, a whole four seconds quicker than he's been. So well done. 48.844. Really, um, he's losing a lot of time uh, in the transition from one side of the track to the other. And so if he can tidy that up, I think he's going to be, uh, he'll be riding the money at the end of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, if your friends and family, your mates, your enemies or whatever can't get down here today, get them onto jetsprint.co.nz and they can watch it all via the live stream. Uh, big day to the people in Australia. And uh, indeed, Antarctica down on Macquarie Island, they are all hooked in at the moment. We're also seeing 
uh, on the live stream that there are actually people hooked in in Kazakhstan. So really? this, this, uh, this right? thing is just going right around the world. So if you oh, can't well, get anybody, your friends can't get down here, make sure you get on the jetsprint.co.nz website and hang out with those around the world watching Buana 2 approach a starter. Alrighty, uh, boat number 181, Gary Stephen and uh, Damon Murray. The Buana boat, as we said, 406 Chevy two, supercharged, 1,000 horsepower, Macraft hull, and uh, they're just an incredible team. This is, uh, as kv has been telling you all day, lots of history behind this guy. 56.464 was their quickest time so far. Lots of power in that boat. You can hear how deep and uh, throaty it sounds. This guy's just going to build speed up all day and make sure that he gets himself ready for that uh, elimination round where it'll unleash unleash the Buana. Oh the yeah, boss. we are going to unleash the Buana. And uh, Slim's a bit easy across uh, from one side of the track to the other, but that is A-OK. -okay. Got to bog down just a little bit. Just sort of really coming to terms with a massive amount of horsepower. Uh, a couple of years ago was in a high speed unlimited boat. They went to 400s, now back into high speed and just gives it a boot across the line there, Gary Stephen, and comes in with a 53.634. The meaner machine now, Richard Murray coming under starter's orders. The blown Ford 440 producing some 1500 horsepower. Richard's a very good farmer and hay contractor down there at the tyre bottom end of the Parapara Highway in Whanganui. And uh, along with Joe Rathbone, who is a racehorse trainer down in Bulls. And the Rathbone come, uh, family are pretty synonymous with horse training down there. She's never had 1,500 horses underneath her at one time until today. And I talked to her earlier on and I commiserated with her because I've known Richard for a long time. And I said, if you're nervous, you have a right to be with this guy in this big, big, powerful boat. Amazing power, 1,500 horses, oh, and yeah. uh, it's all instantaneous with that Ford supercharger pushing them around. Rich is starting to find his straps here a little bit with yeah, this boat. look, he's certainly not pushing it. He's uh, driving it very smart, knows where he can use the power, easing off in the areas where he's still trying to become accustomed to the whole new package that he's got underneath him. Have a look at that. That is the oh, 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 bang. He took oh, that oh, island. Bing bang, ladies and gentlemen. He took it way Richard too quick. Richard Murray out of the water at the top end of the track. Okay, let's have a look at the big screen if you can, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. He comes around there really hard and he uh, just clips that island and then out and about. There's nothing left. He's lost his traction on the water. Up and out and over he goes. Oh, look at that. And there's his bum. That's all you're going to see for a few minutes until we get him right side. And uh, everybody that's down there, maybe you'd like to give them a big round of applause and help them out and uh, as we get them up off the back onto the top side. And a nice new dent in the boat for him and a bit of steam and that. Richard uh, and Joe there, they'll be checked out by our rescue crew. And uh, if you want to have another look, we'll see if we can queue it up again on our uh, big screen TV now that we know that they're out there safely. But uh, there's the first real crash of the day for you. And uh, Suzuki uh, Super Boats, the Suzuki Unlimited boats uh they are hell on water here he comes through it again he's been doing a great job up till this point and we were just talking about how good it was bang clipped the island there threw himself across to the other side of the track and uh there was a lot of um i guess gordon ramsay type words coming out from underneath the helmet so yeah ladies and gentlemen we're pretty happy with them being okay up there how about you once again give them a good round of applause that team and mean machine well, mate, we might as well uh, throw a bit of music on, take a break while we effect the rescue, and we will be back very soon.
Oh, well, split. Oh, well, split. Split. We, we weren't interested in that. We're more interested in seeing you upside down. Now, obviously, no injuries. You're all pretty sedate in the end, really. Yeah, no, no, we're good. Like, Joe's fine. I'm fine. Um, not even a bruise, I don't think. So that, that's the beauty of the sport. It's so safe. So, no, it's good. Uh, good to see you, mate. Thanks very much for coming up with us here. Having a couple of words. We are about to get underway with racing again right now. All right, I did say just before they crashed that Joe had a reason to be nervous. I didn't want to put the kibosh on him, but uh, they certainly did uh, have some issues out there. Looks like we're going to Blue Flame, is it? Yeah, that's right. David Simmons now coming uh, out on track. John Ferry, these guys got a DNF in qualifying round number one, uh, posted a reasonable time in two, and the boat was bogging down a little bit there on the uh, hairpin, and now out and about on the water, got the boogie happening, John Ferry. Got the hand way up over the dashboard, making sure Dave Simmons knows what he's doing. But I tell you what, he's in a good wiggy. We've had the first decent pingle for the day. Uh, yeah, we've got some more to come too. 49.147 was the fast time that uh, KB was just talking about. 6.2 LSA motor with 850 horsepower. Now they just about bit the biscuit right there too, getting late coming around that hip. And, and uh, that's not going to play their confidence any good, but um, they've got to put that behind them and keep focusing on what's in front of them. And uh, they've just had a fair bit of time to wait as we got Richard Murray sorted out. But they've certainly got a good uh, track uh, rotation going on here to give themselves the time. Let's take a look. Dave Simmons, 48.937. 48.937. So they've come down 0.3. 0.3 from the last run. Yeah, nice run there from Dave Simmons. And as you said, mate, when they're sitting in the boat just uh, waiting for a, a rescue to be affected, you've got to reset the brain, think about it and uh, not think about what's just happened and the rescue crew are, are being kept busy. You've got to keep that completely out of your mind because if you start thinking about those sorts of things, you create self-doubt. And uh, as we know, self-doubt means that quite often you end up on the dirt. Have a look at the trumpets out of the mouth fresh machine of Rob Coley. This thing has got trumpets that are nearly touching Jupiter. Yeah, no kidding. This thing uh, is all about power. 705 cubic inch Donovan big block, 1170 um, horsepower there. Sprintec GeForce and uh, nine inch, nine inch unit pushing it along. Global Products Limited, Mouthfresh Oral Care, the main sponsor. Look at that thing from zero to 120 in less than two and a half seconds. It is the fastest thing in the world. Is when you jump one of those boats out of the water, it just feels like your teeth go back to your tonsils, and there's no bringing them back until you finish running. And uh, away we go. This is fast. This is good. This is green and clean, uh, KB. Oh, absolutely. The mouth fresh. I tell you, great taste, uh, tasting toothpaste as well, the old mouth fresh. Good for dental hygiene. And uh, Rob Coley was saying to me earlier, he said, mate, you need some more mouth fresh just to <laughs> clean that crap out of your mouth. Yeah, good on him. <laughs> I tell you what, they, they had a time down there. They had a time of 50.694, 50.694. And as KB told you earlier on, they've been in Australia and they did really well over there. This boat will be around about 48 seconds here as we come to the final stages. They put a bit of taking the lead out underneath their foot, and uh, there we are, 47 triple eight. I wasn't oh. too far away. 47 triple eight there for their time. And yet they lost a little bit of time down the back part of the track in the latter part of that rotation. And uh, they will sort that out uh, in the runs to come. So next boat to face the starter will be Lake Manel, the man with a head like a uh, painter's radio. But he is uh, Taranaki hardcore. And he loves it. Tell you what, world champion, New Zealand champion. He's owned this boat three or four times. He keeps flogging it, keeps buying it, flogging it, buying it. What's he going to do this time? Straight out? off the line. Geez, he took that uh, first uh, that first corner comes up. That first island comes up so fast when they jump off the line like that, KV. So uh, he's going to have to keep himself going and keep uh, keep in the middle of the track, this guy. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah, look, you can see him just wobbling. The boat just yep. really darting left and right uh, as he's sort of going down that back part of the yeah, track. So a few handling smooth. issues, but he's not worried about it. He's not scared of it. It's Quite not, often not these smooth. boats will actually steer better and, and handle better when you put some power into them. And at the moment, this thing just looks a little bit jittery, but he's got so much horsepower at his disposal, I'm not surprised at all. 49.700 was the time that they did. Yeah, you're right. There's a, it's a really rough-looking drive, this, but um, I'm thinking we're still going to be down in the 48s. It's been uh, faster than it was, that's for sure. Let's see how we go. Oh, oh 47.214 into the lead for this round. 47.214. 
So that was a really good run from Leighton Manel. Really looking forward to having a chat to him during the lunch break just to see what he's going on with the boat. It just seems to be uh, jiggling just a little bit. Uh, anyway, we'll see what happens with that. Glenn Head now for all firm. Darren yeah. Todd, the navigator in here. Great sponsors of the event all around, all firm, if you need to see them for uh, their products, go and catch up with them. 47.460. 47.460 was their time in qualifying round number two. so far we had 46083 from our next team in it's uh, Peter Coe and Sharma Putaranui the uh, team from Canterbury so they are the leading uh, boat so far in the Suzuki super boats the Suzuki Unlimiteds so far let's see if they can crack the whip again and get it done boy oh boy Glenn here I was just going to say to you uh, halfway through that run but it was going there quick we couldn't get in there KB, they don't know how to spell panic those guys it's a five letter word and they can't uh, can't get past four so uh, there we go there's hard round the right hand and now with Peter Curry Mr. Smooth Mr. Clean the new navigator on the side there she's a lovely young lady from Mount Summers in uh, Canterbury and he's from Ahoga good work now he's a professional boat builder professional boat driver and I tried to keep up with him on the way to Wanaka Jet Sprints last year and he left me for dead on the road as well so uh, the guy can really get it done Suzuki corners coming up through the middle hard around the outside yeah the 472 small block one of the uh, biggest small blocks going around in fact the biggest small block going around the only other one is a uh, bloke by the name of Greg Mercer in Australia running one of these engines and a fantastic setup Peter Coey now across oh, the line. Oh, oh, 44, 5, 1, 7. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we'll get the 43. 44, 5, oh, 1, 7. Well, actually, uh, just, uh, I was going 43. You had 42. I think you might be closer oh, to mate. it there, Wiggy. See, that's incredible. Now, there's a long way between 44, 5, 1, 7 and 42. But uh, that was, you know, I still think there was a little bit left in the tank. Oh, I, I, halfway through that run there, it looked like Coey sort of just eased it up a little bit and, yep. and just smoothed it up. But... Um, Sometimes being fast, like you see Leighton Manel's style there, it looks wild and western, almost like a rodeo, um, compared to some of these other boats like Glen Heads and Peter Coe's, and uh, they're making up the inroads on, on the likes of Leighton KV. Absolutely, and uh, look, you know, Leighton uh, got a quite a, an elbows out, quite an aggressive style, Peter Coe a lot more relaxed about things, but uh, look, the difference.